back to my channel. In this video, I will go over the top five certifications that you should get in 2022. Let's get started right away so I don't waste your time. The first one has to do with Microsoft certifications. Now, as you know, we are big on cloud environments. We love the cloud. If you want to get into the cloud, there are three top cloud providers, Microsoft, Azure, and then AWS, and also Google Cloud. So one of the top certifications that you want to get in 2022 is a Microsoft certification. Now, I'm not going to go down this list in the order of the one that I believe is the top one. I will tell you that at the end of the video. But for now, if you want to get into cloud computing, get the Microsoft certification, become an administrator of Azure. And the nice thing about this is when you visit the site, you will see that it gives you all the resources that you need to get the certification. It explains it very well. As you can see here, you get the fundamental certification and you can get an Azure Administrator Associate. And it's a very good certification to get started. It opens the door for other certifications. So you could do an Azure Virtual Desktop Specialty. Uh, you could do any of these, but you start out as an administrator. That way you get your feet wet, you get ready to get started in the cloud environment. And one of the reasons why any of the cloud certifications is very good is the cost to entry. Pretty much you don't have to spend anything. Azure or Microsoft, I should say, gives you money so that you could start learning. And at the same time, they provide free training on their website. And just like anything else out there, YouTube will have a ton of videos that you could use to also learn. So right off the bat, you spend nothing. Whatever computer you have at home is good enough, and you could start building infrastructure. As you know from my channel, I truly believe on hands-on practicing. Yes, you could pass this exam just by studying, just by cheating. But then again, that's what you're doing. You're cheating. You're not learning. It takes nothing for you to go in there, create an Azure account, and start building infrastructure. So I recommend this one, the associate certification. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced and you've already gone down this, then you can go for the solution architect. And this is a little bit harder exam, but it's still just question and answers. It's a written exam. It's not a lab like it used to be, but it's a very good one. So anything in the Microsoft space is a very good certification to have only if you are going to practice hands on. I can't repeat that enough. I can't stand it when people get certifications just from studying and just from cheating, getting practice tests. No, go out there, build a database, build a managed database, build a VM, build and, and back up your VMs, back up your databases create any environment that you can you're getting free money to do this so just do it another great certification is Cisco certifications but before that please subscribe to our channel now in the past I have mentioned that I wasn't very excited with the way Cisco was doing certifications way back when, when I first started. I mentioned that a lot of the things that they did just did not seem like they were in tune with what enterprises were looking for. I believe now that that has changed. And it didn't change recently. Actually, I have to admit that I didn't look at them at their certification path just because, like I said, they, the test would be on things that you didn't need uh, or things that were not really used that often in environments and it just it didn't make me feel good. I like exams that have to do with real environments. So here when you go to Cisco's website you'll see that there's a certification path and it starts the same way like all the others. Entry level, associate, professional, and 
expert. Now I'll have to admit that I love the new format for testing. And when I what I mean by format, I mean now, if you're an entry person, if you're just getting started, go for the CCNA. I do not think that there is any other certification that has more value than this one for someone that's just getting started. You learn what a network is, you learn what security is, and, and you touch a lot of different little aspects that will get your foot into the door. If you're a little bit more advanced, you would go for professional. And this one area where I just did not like it. In the past, if you wanted to get a CCNP, you had to get the CCNA. Now, I could not stand that because if you're at a CCNP level, you're not dealing with cabling. You're not dealing with different little things that somebody that is an entry-level person would do. If you're at, at the CCNP level or CCIE level in your experience, there are things that you would ask a CCNA to do for you. And what happens is that you do not have to retain that knowledge to com to keep your job and keep progressing in your job. So it was I, I couldn't stand it when if you didn't have the CCNP, they wanted you to learn all this basic knowledge that you never use. I've never, I, I won't say never, I rarely ever used my CCNP knowledge to do my CCNP, CCIE level job. So it was frustrating to have to go through this. But now, I believe Cisco understands this. So if you want to jump in and do the CCNP, you can just jump in and take the two exams to pass the CCNP. And that is wonderful news. I actually enjoy that very much. And I think it's worth it. Now moving on to our third one is a Google Cloud certification. And before I get started here, as you know, I love the cloud. We love the cloud. And it's something that we talk about a lot on this channel. And another positive thing about Cisco is that Cisco has gone and now they have what is called intent-based networking, intent-based networks. And there is a lot of cloud involved in Cisco's new networking model. And their certifications now require that you understand this setup, that you understand how these environments are impacted by software, just like any other cloud environment. Obviously, it's a little bit different because of the nature of networking, but in, in the same tone, it helps you to see that the cloud is the direction where everyone's going. So our third option here, as you can see, is Google Cloud Certification. Now, what certifications would I recommend? Well, if you're just starting out the certification that I recommend is, if you go into their website, yes, with Google Cloud Certification, is right for you. You're just starting out, or you're a salesperson, then foundational certification is very good. If, you're, if you want to be techie, then the associate certification is the one that you should go for. And Google, as well as all the others, gives you a lot of free time in their environment. They've shortened it a little bit, but you still get, I want to say it's $200, $300 for free for you to log in. Just create an account, log in, and have at it. I mean, come on. Don't get the certification if you're just going to read a book, if you're just going to, you know, cheat on, on the test. Get your hands involved in here. And the nice thing about Google, they're giving you this money. You can use it for anything in their environment. They're not holding back. You can truly spend that money. And if you're smart and you shut off different uh, systems like your VMs, then you're not paying any money. And can when, once you need it, you start it up again. And then it starts counting against that money that they give you. But it's free. Now, if you're more advanced even, you can go the professional route. And the way they have it now is you don't have to do an associate level in order to go professional. That's what I love. Because once you have experience, and if you have experience now, you, will, you know that there is a big difference between an associate's job and somebody that's at the professional and expert level. And a lot of times, you don't want to have to deal 
with uh, you know situations that are just for entry level positions. You know, it's kind of like when you go to to a doctor, to a surgeon. He might not be the best guy to draw your blood, but yet he's the best guy to do the surgery. Somebody else that's in a different position, not at the doctor level or surgeon level, will be the one that's best at carrying out that job of drawing blood. Now, if you want a good surgeon, who cares if he doesn't know how to do the, the most basic thing in medicine? That's not what you want him for. You want him for his expertise. Same thing goes for this environment in the cloud, professional level or associate level. And now let's go to our fourth certification, and that is AWS, one of my favorite. AWS is everywhere. Everyone uses AWS. And one thing I, I love about them as well is all the free money that you get to learn, to practice. And once again, I'm adamant about this. If you're just going to cheat and take practice exams and then go in there and pass the real exam, well, I got no respect for that. You have to build it. They're giving you money. So technically, they're paying you to learn. Years ago, you had to spend a lot, a lot of money in order to practice in any environment. You wanted to spin up a server, you had to buy a server, a physical box in order to practice. AWS is giving you money so that you can go out and get certified. And the nice thing about all this, as, as is said in many other environments, competition lowers prices on everything. And there's a big competition between all the cloud providers. So what's happening, a lot of them are just giving you the incentives to go after their certification. So number four or number five is to get an AWS certification. And now I mentioned that there's, you know, the top five. And the reason I mentioned that is because you want to do AWS, you want to do Google Cloud, you want to do Azure, you want to do a Cisco certification. But at the same time, this is 2022. So if you pick one of these at the entry level, well, it's expected that you keep practicing and practicing and then go for the fifth one, which would be at the professional level in any of these. So if you start AWS Associate, then pursue AWS Professional. If you start with Google, then go for the Google Professional, even though you get the Associate first. You see what, what I, I mean? do not get stuck on just one of these continue to learn and then this will pay off but if i have to repeat it a thousand times i will do so do not just study to pass the exam yes exam preparation is way different than actually knowing how to do the job but you're getting all this money for free so study and then try to put it into practice. And throughout all of the channels, they've all been hands-on. This is one where I'm just talking about certifications. So just make it happen. Pursue one of these, and you will be able to get a job. You will be able to progress in your existing job. And this will help you out in any environment. And I say that these are the top five because there are others. And I truly believe that these top five are better than any of the other ones out there. Now, in a future video, I do want to talk about some security certifications. And I, I want to talk a little bit more on that, so I won't talk about them here. But there are security certifications that are very, very good. I just do not believe that the majority of the people are in a place to pursue security and I will explain that in that next video I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe I will make more videos and explain to you a lot more about cloud environment